Hey, hey, you guys. It's Jessica Duran and Suzanne Cox. We are both Young Living members and leaders. We are here today with an exciting oily information session. So inquiring minds want to know, how do you start your Young Living routine in the morning? Like what, what Young Living products do you use every day? What's your normal routine look like? So let's talk about that today. So my part is going to be an ideal morning with Young Living and you guys like life changes and stuff comes up and so we're going to have to adjust our morning routines as needed. So we do what's best for us, what's best for our family, for our body and a morning full of Young Living's products is sure to be a good morning. So stay with us because we also have a night to nighttime routine to discuss as well. Let's talk about a pretty good morning for me and later we will mention some member favorites as well. So you gotta wash your face, right? So here comes the art routine. Young Living's art skincare system safely and effectively cleanses, tones, and moisturizes your face to bring out your natural and inherent beauty. So I love the hint of sandalwood, the aroma that you smell when you're using these products. Um, Royal Hawaiian sandalwood oil is in these amazing products and it's so great for our skin. So some other essential oils that you'll find in our art skincare line are frankincense, lavender, and even Melissa. I have recently added this DIY face serum into my skincare routine and whoa, like let me tell you, this is some serious, fabulous DIY action and you probably know that I'm not a big DIY lover, but I can seriously rock out some of this face serum. So I use 20 drops of frankincense, 10 drops of copaiba, and 10 drops of manuka. And this was a recipe that I got from someone else. So, you know, I just piggyback onto what other people are doing and loving and just go from there. So manuka essential oil is great for our skin, as are the other oils that are in this face serum. And I tell you, my skin is more radiant and more smooth looking and definitely more healthier. Um, I can really, really tell a difference and have even had some people comment on my skin since I started using this face serum. So I use it in between the toning and the moisturizing step and I'm really, really liking it. Okay, so one of my favorite things about using a toothpaste from Young Living is that it allowed me to get rid of a traditional store-bought item that I had that was full of chemicals and then I could replace it with something non-toxic and truly all natural. So I use the Thieves Aromavite toothpaste morning and night and it's free of fluoride, artificial flavors, synthetic dyes, and preservatives. So when we ditch and switch, we can really transform our house um, up and down for the better. Next up is another ditch and switch item that I really like. I traded chemical-laden deodorant for something much better when I started using tea tree and lavender essential oils. And I just apply these two oils neat, which means plain, not diluted, nothing else added to them, just by themselves. I apply them neat to keep me fresh all day long, but most important is that I said bye-bye to aluminum. So no longer are my pores soaking up the harmful ingredients in many store-bought deodorants. Young Living's Ningxia Red is one of our premier products enjoyed by many members. I consider this my daily multivitamin. Ningxia Red benefits include supporting our energy level, normal cellular function, and whole body and normal eye health. A daily shot of two to four ounces helps to support overall wellness with its powerful antioxidants. And I truly believe that this is one of our best investments for a daily wellness strategy. So um, cheers to that. Supporting a healthy endocrine system is another way that I like to begin my mornings. I like one drop of Endoflex Vitality under my tongue, but some people use Endoflex topically over their neck. So female hormone support is really, really important, and this oil helps me feel energized, awake, and balanced. No one has time for stress, right? So daily stresses can wreak havoc on our emotional and physical well-being, and essential oils can really impact our emotional health, and this is really one of my favorite ways to use oils. A few drops of Stress Away, Sacred Mountain, Believe, or even Ula Balance help keep me feeling calm, cool, balanced, and emotionally well. These oils even double as perfume for me. So this is another way that we can stop the use of chemicals that we're probably using and we might not even realize it. Another way that I like to begin my mornings is by turning on the diffuser. I think that's one of the best things that we can do for ourselves in the morning. Um, 
there's no better way to have prolonged exposure to the many benefits of essential oils than by diffusing, in my opinion. So when we diffuse oils into the air, it can uplift our spirit, promote relaxation, support emotional well-being, and assist with purifying our environment. The limbic system of our brain is, is where our memories and our emotions are kind of stored and held. And when we inhale essential oils, we can create a physical or an emotional response or a change. And even, you know, diffusing oils can replace candles and artificial air fresheners that we might be using. And so that's kind of another ditch and switch item that I've really come to love. So there you have it. That's a pretty good morning routine if you ask me. Some of my oily friends have shared their favorite morning routines as well. And they're enjoying products like Dragon Time, Prodescence Plus, Frankincense, Multi Greens, Aroma Life, Boswellia Cream, Agile Ease, Power Gize, Joy, like the list just keeps going on and on and on. Valor, Living Water, Cool Azul Pain Cream, Oils in their Ningxia Red Shot, Cypress, and even Inspiration Essential Oil. So morning routines are definitely, definitely made better with the use of different Young Living products, and I look forward to hearing how your mornings are made better by using Young Living. So next up is our nighttime routine. How are we going to have a good evening? So Suzanne's going to tell us all about that. Hi, guys. So let's talk about the evening routine, and don't be overwhelmed because I feel like when I give my list, some people think that it's a lot and it would be <laughs> difficult to do. But let me tell you why it's so important to do a nighttime routine. It's because our bodies go into a restorative mode at night. And so we need to do our skincare. We need to get all of our um, body systems to recover to the best so when we do wake up in the morning, we're recovered and ready to go. So I'm going to give you some of my favorite steps. I'm not going to try to go over the stuff that Jessica did, so we'll keep it simple. So orange blossom is probably my number one cleanser at night. I know a lot of you are guilty for not washing your skin at night, but let me tell you, coming from the beauty industry, you need to wash your skin at night because it's nasty. <laughs> Um, orange blossom is great for more of the combination skin and really great for the teenager skin, even if you're in your 30s and you're still going through that um, process. So um, orange blossom is hands down my number one cleanser. I will sometimes rotate the art cleanser into it. The great thing about Young Living Skincare is you don't have those toxins that are in so much of the products out there on the market. And it just has the essential oils, again, infused into them so your skin just gets that glow like Jessica said earlier. Um, my favorite moisturizer right now, okay, I'm addicted to sandalwood moisturizer cream. I've tried all the um, moisturizer creams that Young Living has. The great thing about sandalwood moisturizer cream is it is thicker, so it's great for nighttime. But if you do happen to make it a morning routine too, you can add a little bit of water and make it a thinner consistency. And then I always add in um, Melrose is my hands down number one skin blend. It has tea tree in it, and so it just is really great um, to help with the skin overall. Um, and then adding the moisturizer into it just makes it have the balance that you need for skin. Um, you definitely, even if you have oily skin or combination skin, you really need to moisturize. I know a lot of people say, oh, my skin's too oily, I can't do a moisturizer, and I can't do a thick moisturizer. Our skin needs the moisture to balance out. And so it's really important that you get that moisturizer in, especially at night. Myrrh is such a great oil for your skin at night because it's thicker. As you can see, that bottle has been used like crazy. Um, <laughs> 
so it's really messy but it's a thicker oil and so when you put it on at night your skin really gets that good recovery in it um, and then rose I mean rose is like gold as we know and it's a youth oil and so I definitely add it in if you're worried about how expensive that bottle is just add a drop into that big four ounce moisturizer and mix it up and then you're golden so the next one is my um, hormone balance and Jessica already talked about the Endoflex, but I work on my hormones at night a lot just because it's balanced me out for the evening so you don't end up waking up uncomfortable and wet, if I can say that. <laughs> um, so um, Endoflex, I'm the one that puts it over my neck. I put two drops over my neck every single night. And then for Justin's Plus, I put my two drops on my inner forearm, on my left arm at night, and kind of put my forearms together to blend it in. And then we all know us women need to tame the dragon. So Dragon Time is a fantastic blend just to hit kind of all the hormone balance. So you get everything in that blend um, to balance everything out. So, and then um, the next one I am going to talk about is, there you go, is emotional oils. Okay, so nighttime, it's really important to balance out your emotions from the day. We all know that our days are stressful, we're going, 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 and we need to just take the evening and balance out so we can get a restful night's sleep and so we can wake up refreshed and we're not holding on to what we've gone through the day before. And so nighttime, pull out your emotional oils. Um, these are great to apply joy as we know Gary called it the love oil so joy is really good at night and really great in the diffuser too um, and then I just put on like gratitude or abundance I always have emotional support oils for my nighttime routine and joy I mean, again, it's the love oil. It has geranium in it, rosewood, lemon, and so much more. And so that oil is just really great. Usually I'll put two drops at night. I tend to put two drops on my lower back or my inner thighs um, just to give that support, again, emotional support and that um, happiness that comes along with the joy oil. So it's fantastic for nighttime routines. So, and then next I want to talk about um, the supplements. So I am a big supplement person. I do endurance athletics and again, just um, getting good supplements. I've never been able to take supplements before Young Living supplements. And as you can see in this graphic, what makes Young Living supplements so different is they have essential oils in them. And so with essential oils, 64% blood absorption in 30 minutes and 86 in one hour. You guys, that is huge. And especially at nighttime, when our body is in that recovery mode and we're sleeping and our body just needs to restore, taking supplements at night is huge. And so these are a few of my favorite ones. Young Living has a ton of supplements, but let me just kind of run through these. Um, Sulfurzyme, my number one, everybody should be on Sulfurzyme. Um, just really great for every body system. That's kind of how I see it. If you're looking for that supplement for the hair, skin, and nails, 
sulfur zymes your supplement. Um, just great for recovery. Um, if you're an endurance athlete or just work out, that's your supplement that you want. And then Super C, we all need a good vitamin C for our immune systems. And again, we have the best supplements out on the market. I guarantee you, if you look at what is in your supplement routine and switch over to Young Living supplements, you're going to feel a huge difference. Immu Pro has melatonin in it. That's why it's on my nighttime <laughs> list. Um, fantastic because it's going to give you that immune support with a little bit of help with the sleep. So um, Detoxime, Life9, and Allerzyme are all for gut support. We really need to do gut support at night because we're not eating at night, or we shouldn't be eating at night. We should be Keeping. So it's really great. Get in your supports. I switch my zymes with my probiotics. So I will do one or the other at night. And it's really helped my gut start healing and just um, work better, function better. So definitely start switching over to the supplements. I promise you, you will be amazed. Okay, last on my list. I know, I told you guys it was a long list for the night. But it's good, it's good. And it does not take a lot of time when you get into the routine. That's right. And that's the consistency that a lot of your leaders will always talk to you about um, with essential oils. That's the huge thing is consistency. And so diffuser sleepy oils, oh my goodness. So I have more favorites than this list, but I had to break it down. So Dream Catcher by itself is a fantastic blend. It really helps just um, helps you calm down and helps um, with dreams. It really does help with dreams. And um, if you're one of those that is a yellow artistic personality um, that has those vivid dreams. Um, dream catcher will help calm you down for the night. Now Cedarwood and Clarity might seem like a weird combination, um, but Gary Young's actually the one that turned me on to this combination for the diffuser at night. And he said if you're one of those people that is constantly thinking and can't shut off the brain and just mulls over stuff at night and you can't just calm down. Cedarwood and Clarity, put it in the diffuser. I usually tend to put 10 to 12 drops total in my diffuser for nighttime. And um, of course, I use a diffuser that goes eight hours. Hmm, wonder who sells those. Um, but um, my Cedarwood and Clarity, I do so six and six drops equal um, amounts. And I've noticed that I am able to calm my brain down with that and just able to relax at night. And the great thing is I wake up and my mind is clear because I haven't been working all night long. So those are my favorites. Of course, there's more. <laughs> I'll not overwhelm you anymore on that. So I think that's a pretty fantastic nighttime routine. I can tell you in the two and a half years that I've done it, and of course I switch it up a little bit, but my body, my skin, every system in my um, body has just, changed completely because of nighttime routines. So a couple of people's favorites because we took a kind of a poll and asked people. So everybody has favorites. So there's some frankincense with coconut oil for their skin. Frankincense is like gold. Um, orange and cedarwood in the diffuser. The tranquil roll on, stress away. A blend of vetiver, cedarwood, and lavender. Um, in the diffuser, which is fantastic, or if you make a roll-on with those three oils to calm down. And of course, lavender in the bathtub, maybe a little Epsom salt is fantastic. 
So there is my night routine and some other options that people have um, put in. And yeah, that's all I have for you right now. <laughs> So thanks so much for listening to our little video. You know, I think one of, as both of us as Young Living leaders and oily educators of our friends and family, one of the biggest, most often used question is, what's your routine look like? And I find it, I'm sure Suzanne finds it difficult to answer that question as well because stuff changes. But I will say that probably both her and I have our go-to's, things that we always do. You know, like we always take care of our face. We always put on our diffuser. We're always drinking our Ningxia Red Shots, you know, things like that. And so what was so great about her and I getting together on this and just kind of talking about some of our favorites is just to give a little glimpse into our world. And if we had to write it down on paper, which I made her do, <laughs> if you had yeah. to write it down, you know, what would you say? What would you tell people that you do? So I um, have had so much fun sharing with you and doing this class with Suzanne. And I hope that uh, you guys got some, maybe some new ideas. And I cannot wait to hear about some of your favorite morning and nighttime routine products. We will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.